Hello and thanks for clicking on the link to watch a short video on two different types of categorizing uh, your data in QuickBooks Online, you know, above and beyond, you know, using items and chart of accounts and things like that. But if you really want to, if we're talking about profitability of one business unit versus another or a location versus another or department or division versus another, then we're talking about location tracking and class tracking. These are plus level features. So you go to company preferences and you'll see the categories there. If you don't see it there, you're either in simple start or essentials. Okay, so you have to be in plus for this. And there are two different types of uh, class tracking, as we, we like to say. And if you're used to the desktop products, you're used to class tracking. If you've never been, if this is, if you're new to the QuickBooks realm, well, you have, uh, you know, profitability is key in knowing which department is more profitable than the other. And this is where we have class and location tracking. So you just check off the boxes to turn them on. Um, essentially, big differences between the two. Location, you can only have one location per transaction. For class tracking, you could do, most people use it for separate line items on the bill or the check or the invoice or, or sales receipt or what have you, or you could have one per transaction. So those are the uh, the big differences. You can also click on this little link here. It gives you a little more information, but typically classes are used for divisions, departments, uh, different business units, um, things like that. Location would be for location, stores, franchises, offices, things like that. So. Once you turn it on, you go ahead and click Save. And then we're going to go to our list menu real quick here. And you'll see that I have two extra lists, a class list and location list. So let's look at location list first. I have a location here, and I've created two locations, one and two. And I even created a, a sub-location at location one. Um, if we go ahead and edit location one for sales delivery and printing, uh, you can check off these boxes, or one of these boxes, depending on what you need. Let's say um, you might have a different address at that location where customers contact you at, right? So you would check that off. So when the customer receives it, it shows the appropriate address for that particular location. Okay. Now for classes, pretty simple. Go back to the uh, list. So once you turn it on, you go back to lists and then class lists, and you just create your classes. You can have subclasses as well. They're pretty simple, right? You just... Create them, keep creating them for the different units or divisions. So I have Division A and Division B in this example. Now let's go look at some transactions. I'm going to go to the Customer Center. And here we have for uh, Ray, I have an invoice. And you'll find the class field and location field on almost all the supported documents uh, within QuickBooks Online. So notice I have two line items on the invoice for Ray. Some sales with just one quantity, go, and I'm assigning that $2 to Division A, I'm assigning the $750 to Division B. The summary of the transaction is going to Location 1. So $752 I should see in a column for Location 1 on my profit and loss by lo location report. Okay. Now let's look on the uh, supplier side, go to the supplier list, and I'm going to go ahead and do the register for Isaac there, one of my suppliers, go to the bill. And I have, you know, this bill, this amount here, $200, is going to be assigned to location two. And I've uh, the actual equipment rental, the line item is charged to, you know, division A. So what does all this mean? Let's go to a report here. I'm going to go to report list. And you'll see when you turn location or class tracking on, and you don't have to use both, right? So you're probably already considering watching this, what you'll plan to use it for. But I can do profit and loss by location. And it'll tell me exactly, exactly by account, you know, the amounts for each column, location one, the receiving doc, location one, total, and then location two. Also, what's not specified if you forgot. Now, with class tracking, which is nice, there's a warning that will prompt you when you forgot to add a class to a particular transaction. Okay. So let's go back to that report list, and I'm going to choose a profit and loss by class. And I have 10 bucks that are unspecified under expenses. I'm going to drill in there, and I can choose here. And here's my check expense. I can choose a particular class this is going to. In this case, this one's Division A, and the other one will be Division B, and it'll reflect on the reports in the appropriate way. So if you want to know your profitability uh, by class or location, you need to be at the plus level. Um, and you would turn it on in preferences. You have your class and location list. And then just make sure your, your staff or whoever's doing the entry is entering those classes and locations, and you'll have very accurate reporting across your divisions, business units, departments, and locations. hope that was helpful. Have a great day.